Hello everyone, Rice Town 911 here, and today I'm going to show you how to convert mods from Farming Simulator 2015 to Farming Simulator 2017. It's actually pretty easy, but if you're going to do it, first thing you're going to need is Giant's Error 7.0.0. So, to get that, the best way to get and the safest way is to go to GDN or Giant's Developer Network find it on Google if you need to and then click on this link then you go there and you can register or log in and I'm just going to log in oh. okay once you logged in to your account on GDN you can go to downloads then you're going to look for editor and then you're going to want to get Giant Sarah version 7.0.0 Currently, it seems there's only a 64-bit version, so I guess that's what one you have to get. So you click there, you get that, and then have it download. And once it's down to, um, done downloading, you can click on the EXE, and it should install it for you. Now that's done downloading, or it should be. Now it's done downloading, you'll want to click on the little thing here. In Google Chrome, it'll just show a little thing here you can click on, but in other browsers it may be different. You can save it to your desktop or something, but either way, anyway, you get the exe, you click on it. And you can say yes to that. Then you say you accept. And it'll install it for you. It's that simple. And you're done. Installing the editor, anyway. Now that you've got the editor, you'll want to open it. And me, I've created a little desktop, a little icon in my toolbar here. And just click on it, and now I'll bring up my Giants editor. So, yeah, to find the Giants Error thing yourself, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Okay, so on Windows 10, you're going to want to go to this PC, then C, then Program Files, Giant Software, and there you'll find Giants Error 7.0.0. And there, and you can go, and you can get a shortcut to the editor by pinning it to the start, which I have done. And that way you'll be able to open it quickly and easily. Now, once you've got the error open, to confirm a mod, it's really simple. You simply go to File, Open Mod, and one thing about this is that if you're going to be converting a mod, you're going to want to have it in zip format, so just like this, WinRAR, and this will be your Farming Simulator 2015 mod in a zip. That's usually how they come. So if you download the Farming Simulator 2015 mod, it'll be pretty much like this. So once you've done that, you went to File, Open, Mod, and then you go find your mod in the WAR file. Then you click Open, and it'll say Working Directory. Just click OK. Now unpack it and import it and pretty much it'll do all your work for you just leave that as is and then I'll say found mod files from old farming simulator and then we'll upgrade them automatically so you just press that and this will create a new folder on your computer where it will put the converted mod so you can change this to wherever you'd like it but I'll just leave it as is and then it'll convert it for you. It'll take a little while. Once it's done converting, it'll show you a little mod migration report, which basically tells you what it did and if there were any errors or anything, but most likely it's not a problem. And it'll do the best it can. So once that's done, you can go to that folder 
which you had, which was one under documents, and then you can go there and it'll have your mods completely converted to Farming Simulator 17. Except one thing, one thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to select it all and add to an archive. So you press add to archive, which you should hopefully have WinRAR or some sort of program to zip up your mod. And you just zip, put zip format under archive format. And you can change the name of the zip to like this mod's a van, so I'll put van, press OK. And once that's done, here's your mod ready to go for Farming Simulator 17. Now, to install the mod to Farming Simulator 2017, simply go to your documents, my games, that's another folder in your documents. You click on that, and it'll take you to where your Farming Simulator game is installed. So, you'll go to Farming Simulator 2017, obviously, then into Mods, then you'll grab your converted mod, and you'll paste it in there, and it should be good to go. Now run Farming Simulator 2017 and see how your mod is working. Now that you're on Farming Simulator 2017, what you're going to want to do is go to your career and then pick your game, menu you create a new one if you don't have one. And here's an interesting thing unlike in Farming Simulator 2015, even in single player, you have to select the mods you are going to include. So you have to make sure there's a little check mark beside the mods you want to include. So Here's the dodge ban I include, so you're going to want to make sure with yours that you have a little check mark there so that your mod is included. Then we're going to press start and wait for it to load. Now let's see how well we did and go to Morgan's Massive Motors. Uh, yeah, that's the shop here. And also a lot easier would have been just press P, that takes you to the shop. Anyways, one thing you'll notice going into the shop in Farming Simulator 2017 is that there's no mod, no mod category. So, since there's no mod category, the mods are mixed in there with everything else. But, fortunately, there are general categories. So, since that Dodge Van is classified as a car, I can go into Cars and I'll find the Dodge Van. Then, I can buy it. Which is what I'm going to do. So I buy it, and it says you can fetch it, so it, it worked. It worked good. So here it is, converged, and then farming similar 17. So yeah, it's that easy. And if we get in, let's start the engine, drive it off. So a little rough around the edges, but generally, it works. Perhaps once I figure out how to fix some of these rough edges, such as the white strips, which is whites, which are for some reason okay. Once I figure out how to fix some of these things, I'll share that with you in another video. And we'll look at how to fix errors and problems from conversions. So yeah, anyways, that's it for now, and thanks for watching. This is Waste Time 911 on converting Farming Simulator Mods to 17.